everybody, this is Pastor Ben here, and get ready for your jubilee, your jubilation. Remember, it says in the book of Leviticus that jubilee is a feast, it's a season, it's a celebrative time, and I believe in Christ, the year of the Lord's favor. This is a year of jubilee where we break out in jubilee joy, jubilation, praise, celebration, dancing, worship, and there's harvest. And there's debt cancellations where lands are returned to you. Everything that you owned that was taken, stolen, that was delayed or derailed is returned back to you. That's the Jubilee anointing. Uh, but I believe that in this season, God wants to release great joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And there's something called the laughter anointing. Come on, somebody. There's something called the joy anointing. In fact, the Bible says that God sits in the heavens and he laughs at his enemies as the nations rage, as the kings and kingdoms of the world conspire. God sits in the heavenly realms and he laughs at his enemies. Did you know that laughing is not only good medicine, as it says in Proverbs, but laughing is also an anointing. Come on, somebody. Whenever you laugh, you release the joy of heaven. Remember, joy is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Okay. People think that laughing in church is evil. People think that laughing in church is a, a heresy, is heretical. But actually, we should be the most joyful, joy-filled people on planet Earth. And the church, as we're encountering God and fellowshipping together, it should be the most joyful, most happiest place on Earth. I'm telling you, a true church is even better, is even more happier than Disneyland. All right, so there's something called a laughing anointing. And I believe God wants to release a laughing anointing where you don't only laugh at your enemies as God does in Psalms 2, but you laugh because you're filled with the joy of the Lord and it's a fruit of the Spirit and it's good medicine, it's healthy. So I believe God's releasing Jubilee and a laughing anointing. One of the main characteristics of the Toronto Blessing or the airport father's blessing in Toronto, Canada. It was laughter, Holy Ghost joy, laughter, unstoppable joy. It couldn't be stopped. I mean, so many testimonies of people. They didn't want to laugh. They, they, you know, did their, their best to cross their arms and look like a grumpy gorilla Christian. But the joy of the Lord hit them and they just began to get free from religion. The religious spirit from tradition. Free from themselves like a child. And as they began to laugh, they were healed. Instant healing miracles in their body. Creative miracles ran forth. Gold dust, oil, heaven just began to crash in and manifest. Because joy is powerful and laughter is an anointing. I believe God wants to release laughter in your life. He wants you to laugh out loud, LOL, and He wants you to continue to move in this gift and this anointing like it was in the Toronto Blessing, like it will be even today. I pray for a laughing anointing to come upon you in Jesus' name.